Everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. I want to thank you for joining me here today on my channel. We are going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know and to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. This is Taurus versus Gemini. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to Gemini. Talk to me about what's going on with Gemini right now, and then we're going to take a look at how Gemini feels about Taurus. Spirit, please talk to me about Gemini. What's going on with Gemini in the present moment, please? Talk to me about Gemini. What's going on with Gemini, please? Okay, so we have the chariot coming out here, Cancer energy. So it seems like they're moving or they're leaving somewhere. This is fast movement, so I feel like they're moving on or they're relocating. We also have Scorpio energy coming out here with the tower. So this movement is disruptive or it's just changing everything in Gemini's surroundings right now. This could also be like a change in position. There's major unexpected change that I feel is going on with Gemini. Tell me more about Gemini energy, please. Talk to me about Gemini. We have Emperor coming out here with Aries. Tell me more about this Emperor and this Cancer energy. So somebody is obviously giving Gemini a hard time, all right? Uh, this person is putting a lot of pressure on Gemini is what I'm getting here. We have the Page of Wands. So this individual is relentless with their communication. So they want to keep asking questions or they're trying to you know, get Gemini's attention, all right? We have a fire sign showing up here heavily and a Cancer. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer and we have Scorpio energy as well. Tell me more about what Gemini is experiencing right now. Talk to me about what Gemini is experiencing. We have this Queen of Swords energy so we have something that has to do with like the legal system or this authoritative figure. There's a boss here that's demanding something. Okay. Um, I feel like Gemini is up for the fight though. So if there's some sort of drama, then Gemini is ready to go through with whatever this is. Tell me more about Gemini at this time. A high priestess energy coming out here, Pisces, Taurus energy. Yeah, so right now I feel like there needs to be a lot of prayer. Okay, I feel like Gemini needs to pray a little bit more. Or there needs to be more meditation here because it's heavy. Whatever it is, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of stress, okay? And it's happening very quickly and out of nowhere, okay? Tell me more about Gemini. Tell me more about Gemini energy. We have the Page of Swords. So I feel like Gemini has to keep an eye on somebody right now. You know, could be one of their children, all right? Or they're keeping their eye on a Cancer or a fire sign, all right? Could be a child, though. We do have past connection showing up here for Gemini. Please clarify the Six of Cups energy for Gemini, please. Talk to me about the Six of Cups justice. All right, so they're looking to have peace with someone that they've known for a very, very long time. Okay, we have Libra energy. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be any other sign. All right. Gemini does not want the drama, but if they have to fight, they will for whatever it is, but they're not looking to have more problems. Now, talk to me about how Gemini feels about Taurus. Spirit, how does Gemini feel about Taurus? The three of pentacles energy, all right? So they're willing to work with Taurus to come together. Tell me more about this you have a sun. All right. So very good energy for how they're feeling in reference to Taurus. Um, they feel like there's some major awareness that they're gaining because of their other experiences that they're having. And they're willing to work with Taurus because they see something clearly. All right. They see something for what it is when it comes to Taurus. 
Tell me more about how Gemini feels about Taurus. All right, the Ten of Wands energy and the Five of Wands. So, you know, I feel like Gemini wants to make something work with Taurus, but at the same time with the Five of Wands being present here, they're also trying to avoid drama with Taurus is what I'm getting here. They don't want a problem with Taurus either. Um, they feel that something here about Taurus is frustrating to Gemini, okay? It just seems like they don't know what to do. They want to work with Taurus, but they feel like there's fighting between Taurus and them, and that's not the goal for them. You know what I mean? They want to be able to get along. We have the page of pentacles coming out here, so they feel like you're always going to be there, Taurus, is what I'm getting from this person, whether that's true or not. Tell me more. Tell me more. The star. Okay. So they feel like you are hoping for a new beginning with Gemini, Taurus. They, Gemini feels like you have a hope for this. Okay. Does Gemini have hope? For this situation they know taurus does but do they you know only you know what's going on with your gemini but this gemini is concealing something or just not opening up all right with the moon there they're not and look at that you see how the camera just did that but i don't care you know we're gonna continue we're going to finish so maybe Gemini doesn't like what I just said. I don't care. Anyway, so we have the moon <laughs> coming out here. So I feel like they're hiding something and that's part of the issue that you both are having. Spirit, talk to me about how Taurus is feeling when it comes to Gemini. Yeah, so Taurus wants to make this work. Taurus wants to create equilibrium with Gemini. Taurus is looking for the balance. It's like, how can we work this out? You know, because I see here that sometimes Gemini is willing to work on it. And then sometimes they go into this moon energy where they don't want to talk about what's really going on. Okay. We have the hanged man energy for how Taurus is feeling towards Gemini. So I feel like, you know, Taurus is over here waiting on Gemini, you know, patiently. You know, I don't feel like Taurus is in a rush. Tell me more about how Taurus is feeling. Taurus feels like there would be victory with Gemini. With that six of wands energy, Taurus believes in this connection. But Taurus also believes that Gemini is lying about something with that seven of swords energy. So even though Taurus believes in the connection, Part of Taurus doesn't trust Gemini. Tell me more. Tell me more about, yeah, it, it stresses Taurus out to a certain extent. So it's very confusing. You know, I feel like Taurus is confused by Gemini often. What's the outcome of Taurus and Gemini? Talk to me about the outcome this week. For Taurus and Gemini, we have three cards coming out. We have the King of Wands, okay? A lot of passion, fire. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Hermit Energy. So for some of y'all, Gemini is still going to be quiet about something, all right? I feel like there's a move or a transition. There's something here about somebody moving, Okay, that's what I'm getting here for Gemini. They're kind of concerned about a move right now. Um, they're also concerned about how things are unexpectedly changing. Okay, that's also what I'm getting. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus and Gemini. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.